In this video we're going to add the control edges that we need to hold the shape of the object when we subdivide it. One easy way to select the edges that we need for beveling is if you're in edge mode, I'm just going to deselect all the edges here, go to select and then use phone break selection and you will get a selection of edges that are highlighted in this bluish purplish color and if you go to the attributes manager and hit select all you will get the selection of these edges and in most cases this works pretty well sometimes you will get more edges than you want to bevel sometimes you will not get all the edges that you want to bevel but in this case we have everything selected that we actually want to bevel so let's go ahead and use the bevel tool I'm going to switch the mode to solid and let's do an offset of maybe six centimeters if I subdivide this can see when we render this object it actually looks pretty nice. The geometry however is not exactly perfect yet. So let's try and change the metering of the bevel tool from default to uniform and this will give us a slightly different result. Could also try radial and patch but that doesn't change anything. I think that default actually is getting closest to what I want here. In order to get a result that I think will be a little easier to work with, I'm going to undo the bevel and instead of just selecting the edges that we really need to bevel, I'm going to select a couple more. So basically I'm going to continue some of these edges by selecting these ones here for example. And I'm also going to select the ones here at the bottom and over here we can select these ones and these ones. I'm not going to select any more edges down here but over here on the side I'm also going to select these edges here and over here we'll probably also need this one here. So now if I bevel these edges with the same settings we used before, we're getting something that looks a lot cleaner. And of course we've created a lot more edges than we need. If I subdivide this and render it, we're getting the same result as before. If you take a look at the mesh, you can see we're getting these very dense areas where we've added all these new edges. So what we're going to do next is we're going to clean up this mesh a little bit. And I'm going to start in this corner here. I'm going to select these three points here and I'm going to weld them to this point. And over here I'll do the same thing with these three points here. And if I go back to edge mode you can see that just by doing that we can now get rid of some of the edges here so if you double click on this edge here to select this loop we can dissolve these edges and we can do the same thing up here. Let's get rid of this loop and we're also going to remove these edges here. And if I subdivide this you can see that we've cleaned up the mesh quite a bit by doing that and it's not as dense as it used to be. You can see the difference over here where we haven't changed anything yet. And we can take this a step further. For example, we could connect these two points here and we could also connect these two points over here. And this will create a couple of triangles. But if we go back to edge mode, we can now get rid of more of these edges. For example, we can select these ones and dissolve them. We can also get rid of this edge loop here and we can remove these edges. Just going to select these points down here and move these over a bit, line them up with the geometry here. So now if I subdivide this object we're still getting the same result when we render but you can see we no longer have these dense areas that we had at the beginning. So that's looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and fix this area over here. 
So I'm going to select these points here and weld them to this point. And over here, I'm going to weld these points. And maybe align these up a little better. And now we can dissolve this edge here. And the only problem we still have is this triangle here. Everything else is four-sided polygons. Before I continue, I'm going to make a copy of the object that still has the triangle. We're going to need that in the next video. So in order to get rid of this triangle, what we can do is we can connect these two points and then we can dissolve these edges. So this will turn this area into four-sided polygons. And when we subdivide this, it should look pretty nice and we have clean geometry 